Hey guys, so this is bringing you another video. Welcome back to The Climb. We are playing Shaco Support. Uh, today, uh, I'm quite ill, by the way. So we've been doing a support day. Uh, we've played three. We've won all three. Um, so if I play two more games today and we win two more games, we're diamond one. Uh, but yeah, I'm not feeling great. Um, one trick Quinn playing Morgana mid. 100% win rate on it. Uh, bad win rate here. Go oh, again. I'm not scared of a Renekton. The bot lane looks to be okay. 70% win rate in 33 games is pretty good. One trick Burb. So I'll be judging them. Uh, we got a waking up. Doesn't really play Kha'Zix. Uh, very good win rate on Udi. And I think he should probably destroy this Renekton. I did just play with a Vayne. It might be a POV commentary if I've got time to do it. But um, yeah, it's a miserable experience to lane with a Vayne. And we were against a Caitlyn as well. But again, Caitlyn is useless later into the game, so we just have to hold on. Departed! 48 months, 4 years sub club. Thank you so much, my dude. Appreciate it. I think the Morgana was attempting to force a dodge. I don't know. But yeah, she's a... Oh my god. She's a pure, basically, Quinn one trick that has awful win rates on everything else. Two, uh, 316 games of Quinn with just over a 50% win rate. And then Vi with 16 games, 37% win rate. Malphite, 11 games, 36% win rate. The heck? Anonymous with a gifted sub as well. Thank you very much. But reveal thyself. Why did the enemy team split up? That's a really bad level one. Again, so that, ladies and gentlemen, this is why you download Porofessor. So the, the reason why I spam pinged my team. <laughs> the reason I spam pinged my team as much as I did is because it said Invader on the Morgana's profile. So I was like, well, they're invading. Wow. Well, that is a disastrous start for the enemy team. You also use TP to get into lane. <laughs> Ooh, nearly killed the Zyra. You're dead if you don't go back in a second, bro. Come on. Hey puppies! Ah, uh, Renekton's already dead. This game is over. <laughs> this game is so over. Oh, do you want to go under Blanky? Okay, okay, I'll pick it up. It's so cute, by the way. Maya's favourite place to go now is under a blanket, but like near us. She literally asks for it. She does her nose to it now and then looks at you. She's literally asking. Let's go! Who said you can't beat a Caitlyn in lane as a vein lane, huh? Huh? You just have to play Shaco. So again, I picked Shaco because it's early game and I just needed to help the uh, the early game of a vein. We should go back. Come puppies, go underneath. There you go. Oh, I get a Dirk straight away with one shot in fools. I might go... Do I go kill the Morgana? I might go kill the Morgana. And Morgana mid in 2024. Oh, that's bad. I'm on my way again. <sighs> the on you. Oh, 
But there was no point picking Blitzcrank. Someone suggested Blitzcrank. Blitzcrank would be in a terrible pick. You don't pick Blitzcrank when they've got a Morgana. Even if it's Morgana mid, it's still going to limit how useful you are as Blitzcrank later into the game. Hey, Cyclone. I always try to, like, have logic to why I'm picking certain things, you know? It's so wimpy now. Jeez. Can't snowball if they're just playing this, like, passive. Janna. That right, Janna. And I don't really like playing actual supports in current meta. I think actual supports kind of suck. Why play an actual support when you can play something that can support and carry? We need it to, to let them push. Because I want to try and kill them, but I can't if they're around here. They're too close to their tower. And we're naturally going to outscale them anyway, but I still want to snowball. Just stop auto attacking! Stop auto attacking! Stop it. Bad. Naughty bad. Wait, I've played against this Skarna before. I recognize their summoner name. Wall. I presume the Quinn got auto filled. Nice. She's up here. This is a weird one trick player. Again, it's a one trick not on their one trick, so they're probably just feeling very lost. She's not low health. Genuinely would have tried to kill her if she was low health. Yeah, it's 20 degrees Celsius here today as well. Yeah, I saw on the weather forecast we're getting a few days of 20 and then it's going to be like low again. I hate that I'm the support that's top lane at 7 minutes. Ugh, I feel dirty. It's like I want to snowball and the enemy bot lane is just playing so stupidly passive. So they're like kind of forcing me to go roam to continue to snowball. My way. So easy, dude. It's so easy, dude. Give you a double kill. And now you'll forgive me for roaming. <laughs> I'm not fighting you, I don't need to. Uh... <laughs> oh, dear, should not be dying.
Frocky man is angry at me. <laughs> Trade. <laughs> ah! <laughs> There's a ward in there. <laughs> oh, why was there a ward in there? Oh! Make him go in the box! No! I'm on my way. That was my first death. Wait, that was Zyra. Wow, that was a bad Zyra roll. Holy. I'm easy like a Sunday morning. Ooh. I don't want to tank it, bro. I'm low. That's why I'm easy. I've made my vein 303 in lane phase. That's pretty good for us. I'm easy like a Sunday morning. I want to roam to go help that. But I think I'm just going to continue making the, the vein snowball. I think that's actually probably better. Back in 2020, you never thought Huzz would play Shaker often. Me and you both. Me and you both. I don't know why. I just find him quite fun. Hard to explain. This Morgana won't listen or like won't pay attention, but again, they're a one trick, not on their one trick, so they're not very good. Not dancing around in mid lane. Kazix, come. <laughs> we are like we are carrying the hell out of this game by the way <laughs> if it's not obvious already like legit i'm winning mid lane for my anivia i'm winning bot lane for vane i'm making the enemy tilted as heck no 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 the enemy bot lane the enemy bot lane oh you crazy boy what? I was behind him. Puppy's gone. She's left me, has she? Yep. She gone. 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 Well, nobody knows the trouble I see. Nobody knows my sorrow. Nobody knows the trouble I see. No, no, no. Good job, Zara. 
<clears throat> when I see the vision of the light. Where I see the vision. Wait, where'd she go? Ooh, doo, doo. Ooh. Yeah, it's from Recess, dude. You know it. Oh, don't go for it, don't go for it. That Zara just flashed and everything. They're so, they seem so tilted. Can I go get that red? Morgana's clearly baiting. Renekton's coming mid. What? What are you all doing? Oh god. Kaelin's dead again. <laughs> the box prediction. Oh my days. That Scarlet just got destroyed. I can't believe that. That was insane. <clears throat> the Renekton is on a power spike right now. Again, I'm not worried about him carrying, but... He's strong right now. I would have liked to give it to you, but you were nearly dead. Oh, nice. That's a worse death for Kazix. He just got the dragon. That's huge. No, friend. Well, you do no damage. I never did no damage. <laughs> like none. Ah, uh, we played that well though in bot lane. We killed three. I'll take it. Still good. Again, it sucks, but like I don't I honestly don't think Anivia is a good pick in solo queue right now. She does no damage until like three items in. And when everything else does items after one. Or sorry, when everything does damage after one. It just feels like you can't play Anivia anymore. Plus she's so susceptible to gank still. It just doesn't feel great, unfortunately. You guys know me. Herb is one of my favorite characters, so. It feels bad, man. <sighs> His enemy bot lane, I think, really doesn't like me. An enemy has been slain. The enemy team are panicking. They're grouping up because they probably know they get outscaled anyway.
Are they going to try and go for Baron, like, straight away? They might. Crazy desperate play, but they are really far behind right now. What are you doing waiting there? This is such a stupid place to be. Oh, they're in our jungle. Weird. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, this is a funny game. <laughs> no, he got me. Oh. Vayne didn't ult the whole fight. That's bad. We're legit carrying this game like mad, by the way. Like, it's crazy how much we're carrying. I basically am solo carrying, yeah. Which chat says, which I agree. Like, I'm a support. This is modern support. Riot is completely fine with this. They've said it themselves. You should be dead. Oh, God, this Anivia. Not playing good. But I also just think Anivia kind of sucks, so... Like, I think to make Anivia work right now, you have to basically not go the Road of Ages build, because you don't do any damage. Ooh, I'll take a free kill on a Caitlyn. Uh oh. The enemy team is ready to go. So, the enemy team, the way that they're trying to win this game, they're just being grouped 24 7. Unfortunately, with right now the strength difference between some of our champions, it's working. Because the Anivia is basically non existent right now. a prime example of why you shouldn't play Anivia anymore. It's like we're stomping this game and we're not winning. Like, how crazy is that? I hear an ice cream, man. Oh, I could kill an ice cream right now. That'd be so nice for my throat. My throat's been hurting the last few days. Blood Crusader! Yeah, Anivia needs Leondries desperately. Just Baron, but genuinely. I didn't get my E off. She should be dead. She's not dead. Are we losing this game that I literally solo carried? We can't have this bad of a team, right? Like, Ood is useless. Like, how could we lose this game? I literally have solo carried and given my team, like, a literal free early game. Like, I made Anivia win versus a terrible one-trick Quinn on Morgana, and she still is doing bad. Like, there's nothing more I can do. I gave two late game champions, Anivia and Vayne, the best early game they could wish for. We're still losing. That's depressing. So irritating me. There's nothing more I could do to help my team win this game. I gave them an amazing early game. Doubt Caitlyn's gonna continue. Hey, I don't like Vayne's build. It's like a 
burst kind of build, but she should just be doing on hit damage. Dude, I'm more useful than you. Who did ping in me when I'm just 10 times more useful? Need to level. Hey, Roddy Rob. Thirty-one months of prime from Roddy Rob. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Two solo laners are top lane for no reason. That's weird. Wait, is she not going Leandre's? Two deer is so bad. Oh, I can't carry this game with this Udyr. He is literally garbage. That was a nice play by Vayne. This Udyr is actually making it actually harder for us to win. It would argue, arguably be better if he wasn't playing. Which is nice. Which is crazy to say, but it's true. Oh. Easy peasy. Alright, then Vayne should be able to run Scar... Oh, no, he... As I say, Vayne can run Skarner down, but he's just going to go through a wall. Dude, I really don't like Vayne's build, though. She does know, like, not a lot of damage to a Skarner, who she's designed to crit kill really easily. Because she's got no Blade Rune King, no Kraken Slayer. Like, she's not gone that build. But, like, why wouldn't you go that build on Vayne? Don't understand. Oh! If we get the Infernal Dragon, we should be fine. I don't mind if that. She should be dead if you did. Can... There we go. The Rady carries dead before Dragon. I'm fine with that trade. I think. Again, technically I'm very strong, so maybe it's not even in a worth trade, but I think it's okay. I think that's fine. It's well, it's a burst build is what it is. It's 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 a burst build. Don't make it a 50-50. Yes! No fight, no fight, no fight. I'm coming! Oh. Easy peasy. Renekton. Renekton's done well. The Udyr's kind of useless, but and Renekton can't carry. Renekton, he falls off. Quadra kill. And surrender vote? Surrender vote? Maybe? I'm trying to find Caitlyn, by the way. I didn't. I could have survived that Caitlyn situation. But I didn't have uh, my uh, ultimate. Penta! That's the longest penta kill I've ever seen. What? Penta kill? That was the longest penta kill. Wow. It technically counts as a penta, by the way, if I think it's before the enemy team respawn. Hello. Yeah, 
they changed it because back in the day it only, only, literally only used to be for about 10 seconds um, that you had the window but obviously they made it not many pentakills so they changed it a few years back to be um, basically until people respawn or something so it, it can actually be quite a long time I'm looking for Caitlyn, by the way, again. She is my prey. These eye rolls. Where's the Caitlyn? See so, you know, how he's trying to do another stereotypical top laner play now of just being by himself in a bot lane. It's not going to work this game. We're too far ahead. If I could have done anything better, by the way, again, I played the early game near perfect. One thing I think I did, I think I probably should have focused on getting my own XP a bit more, especially with how fed I got, because I think I fell off a little bit in like uh, you know, mid game because I went quite far behind in terms of XP. I'm taking all of that. Thank you very much. I've got 31. Damn, I thought Caitlyn was on her way up here. Yeah, I'm going to just start properly like farming and side laning just to get XP. Any traps there are, what the heck? That poor Anecton. He was like, I'm going all in, and then we popped over the wall. We did it! Alright, that might be my. That is probably going to be the first game of today's play session that I'm going to upload. A bit annoying, because, like, again, it, it feels bad, man, because, like, the Udyr was kind of useless the whole game. I love Anivia. But she just sucks. You can't play an active solo queue champion that is only st starts to get useful at item three. Even Cassadin nowadays is useful at item one. He buys Malignant's first item and he's strong. Even Cassadin. Um, I'm gonna give it to the Kazix because he did do a dragon steal. He got a pentakill. I think he played well. Guys, say hi. Thirteen months tier one says hi, Huzzy. Hello. Hello. I better get all the honors. Like, come on now. Carried the hell out of that game. Get two. Alright, there's three. Where's the last one? Give me the last one. Come on. I should have all four. 
Uh, but yeah, we went 9, 5, 19, 26,000 damage. So all did more damage than the entire enemy team, apart from the Renekton, who obviously had a good game. So we played great. That I could not, could not have played that early game better. Like genuinely, that was near perfection of AD Shaco support. Helped the Vein Snowball, ran mid lane, helped, helped an Anivia. Because that Morgana, by the way, I'm pretty damn sure, was never going to die unless I went mid. Because that Anivia had no strength. So that was a really good game. And what's sad is, again, the, I'm not saying the Anivia was bad, by the way, the player. I just think it's Anivia in solo queue right now. I just don't think the champion's very good. And again, that is from somebody that was peaked EUS's best Anivia and ranked 6 in the world. That's what my best Anivia stats were. I was the best Anivia on EU, statistically. And I think she's terrible in solo queue right now. So, yeah. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. What a crazy game. If you did, do throw a like on it. And yes, I'm going to play one more game. Um, I do feel like death warmed up and I want to go to bed. But I'm going to play one more game because if we win it, we're diamond one. That'll be cool. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace. Regime, I know.